Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back. In the previous video, we created these constructors and now I want to set up an inheritance hierarchy. Basically, the student and the teacher should both inherit from user. So my vision is that we have some website, students can sign up, teachers can sign up. They're both users, but they're both a little bit different. So make sure you watch the previous video if you need help getting all this stuff set up. Otherwise, enjoy. Before you start enjoying my video though, please enjoy this sponsored advertisement. Are you looking for a JavaScript web development bootcamp? What about an iOS bootcamp? DevMountain offers classes online and in person with housing at no additional cost. Learn how to build real world applications and get a job in the industry through DevMountain's career centric program. Whether it's web development, iOS, user experience, or quality assurance, DevMountain has a class for you. Let them know I sent you their way and they'll give you $250 off the tuition. Link in the description. So if we wanted to set the prototype, we could go down here and set the prototype of the student. We could say student.prototype, and then we could set this to some user object we create from this constructor. But the better way of doing it is to just do it for all of the objects rather than each individual one. So to do that, what we can do is we could say, student.prototype, and notice we're using the capital S, so we're doing this for the constructor. And we're going to set this equal to a new user. So the prototype for student is going to be a new user object. We'll do the same thing for the teacher. So we'll say teacher.prototype equals a new user. So each one of these gets their own user object, which will be the prototype. Now, compared to what we had here previously in the console, you can see there's no prototype talking about a user, it's just this object. When we do a refresh, check this out. Now, the prototype is a user. Oh yeah, very cool. So now if we wanna override a particular property, such as this method here, we can do that. Uh, for example, we'll go down to the teacher and we'll create a new say hello. So we'll just say teacher.prototype say hello and we'll set this to a function and we'll just return teacher says hi let's do a refresh and see where that shows up so expanding the teacher expanding the prototype right there it is whereas if you look at the student you expand the prototype then you expand that prototype and there's the say hello so basically on the teacher, we made that say hello function one layer up closer to the teacher. So rather than using the say hello method that is in this prototype, we just have it one layer up closer to the teacher. 